VIPs, good evening. I am going to wait just a couple of seconds as usual to make sure we have some viewers here tonight. Hope everyone is having a great night tonight, Friday night. I don't know how many people we're going to have join us because of the parades, but I think a couple of them got rained out, so maybe we'll have some locals join us, but we always have some people from other states and they don't have parades, so it is Mardi Gras time here. Not that I'm really excited about Mardi Gras time because I don't really do anything for Mardi Gras. I have done, been there, done that. My mom used to drag us to, like, no word of a lie, about four to five parades a night. And it, since I was really young and for many, many years, and so I am definitely paraded out. So, so we're just going to wait just a couple of seconds. I have a few new products that I want to talk about tonight. So we will see who jumps on. It's thirsty there. All right. <clears throat> Hopefully I'll have somebody join me. No one yet. But if you are coming on, then just give me a shout out to show me that you're here. Mm -hmm. Mardi Gras, Mambo, Mambo, Mambo. I do like the Mardi Gras songs though. <clears throat> so in case you were wondering, oh, I got one viewer. Hello. Give me a little hi. Um, so in case you have been following my journey for um, our posh incentive trip, we have an incentive trip going on right now where we get to earn a trip to Greece. And the top 40 consultants in the company, hey Julie, hey Tatiana, um, so the top 40 consultants um, at the end of March, we'll earn the trip to Greece, and I am currently hanging out about um, 20. So I go like 19, 20, like back and forth, and I've pretty much been there the whole time. So we'll see if I can hang um, with that throughout the end of, you know, the incentive period, which is the end of March. So hopefully, because that will be really exciting. I'm not sure if I'll be able to go to the actual trip or not. It's going to depend on my husband's health. Um, but I know that Posh will definitely compensate me for this trip. And I'm hoping they say, well, you can come on the next trip or whatever. I don't know, I don't know what they're gonna do, but I know it'll be something awesome, so. All right. So I am going to go ahead and get started, and then like always, I will uh, publish the video, that way you can catch it at your leisure. So tonight we're going to be talking about bath products. Now I know that I come to you all the time with skincare and facial products and face masks, which I love all of our products for that, but tonight I wanted to talk about the bath because so many of our products are awesome for Bath and Body. And we have gotten so many new items in with the new spring and summer catalog that I am absolutely loving. So that's what I wanted to kind of come on and basically go over my bath time routine. So I do the same thing pretty much every night. I love my bath time. Uh, because it's me time and you know, you know, every one of us deserves to have some me time. And so that is my me time. Even if it's quick, I am not one to soak in the bath a long time because I just don't have time to do that. But even if I'm in there for five minutes, I use all of these products and I love them. So, hey Kelly. 
All right, so I'm going over my bath time routine. So the first thing that I do um, every single bath time is I use our chunk bars. Now, our chunk bars are these bars. They are amazing. Once you use a chunk to bathe with, you will never go back to using soap again. So our chunk bars are the equivalent to soap. However, it is all natural and it's not made with animal fat like all soaps are. Ours is made with palm oil, palm made oil from the rainforest. And the um, kind of benefits for that is that it leaves your skin feeling very, very, very like squeaky clean. The scents are amazing because it has all sorts of essential oils in them. And then also, it has lots of shea butter in all of our chunk bars, so your skin is left feeling very, very moisturized. So, very, very clean, very, very moisturized, and very fragrant, depending on which chunk you choose. Some of them are more fragrant than others. If you're a person that likes like a softer scent, um, you know, we have some with that or hardly no scent at all. And then if you're a person like me, who I love scent, and so I, you know, love anything that's highly fragranced. So that's the ones I always am gravitated towards. Hi, Monique. Hi, Ashley. Ashley, I left you a um, new catalog and some samples. So I hope you got them. Um, so anyway, the chunk bar that I am using right now is our Field Better Soon. This one, I think, has been one of my favorites. I love them. I love so many of different ones, but I am really, really loving this. And I'm going to show you mine because I opened mine and this is what it looks like. So this one smells like lavender. It smells just like lavender. It's very, very fragrant. Oh, and I am just a huge, huge lavender fan. Like everything that has lavender, I'm like all over it because I love lavender. You can see the little uh, pieces of actual lavender flowers are in this one. So it's a little scrubby. It's not scrubby enough to do exfoliation, but because it has the real lavender seeds and flowers in it, it leaves it like not, you know, real, real smooth. So first of all, I will bathe with my chunk bar. And like I said, I am using Feel Better Soon at the moment. While I am bathing with my chunk bar, I use, I always use pretty much every bath, I use one of our all mixed up bath salts. So I'll put that in first, I forgot to say that. So I put that in first and then, and then I bathe with my chunk bar. But these are the all mixed up. If you have not tried them, you are missing something extra, extra special because I love these. So these two boxes I just got in and these are some of the new fragrances that we have. So we're gonna go through them together. Now the reason why they call them all mixed up is because you can pick from a variety of scents to be included in your box. Every, um, every box comes with six different bath salts, and depending on what you like as far as um, how fragrant you like it, you can use one per bath, or you can use up to, you can get up to three baths with one packet. It's just totally up to you. Like I said before, I love fragrance, so I use a whole one in my bath, sometimes two. Let's be honest, but um, that's what I do, so I'm not going to lie. Um, now, this is what it looks like, so you're going to get six bags of these, and like I said, you can mix and match, so we're going to go through, the. these are some new ones, okay? So this one is Let Me See, it's an ultra soothing, super moisturizing bath salt, soak. Now, I will say that some, you have to read the direct, the ingredients and the descriptions on each one when you're picking out your all mixed up because some of them have no fragrance at all. And what you do with that is you would add some of the one with no fragrance to one with fragrance and then 
though it's raining outside. It's like really raining outside. Um, and then you will, the ones without fragrance are mainly moisturizing. So it'll be filled with shea butter or uh, like our bravocado is very, very, very moisturizing. So I'll always use some bravocado and then I'll add something with fragrance to that. And then if I want a bubble bath, I will add some bubble up. So I always have some bubble up and you don't need a full one of these. You can add like a half a pack of bubble up to any of these and you can mix them together. So that's another reason why they call them all mixed up because you will use a little bit of this and a little bit of that and make your own wonderful bath time experience. So always think of that, like think of using one without fragrance for moisturizing properties, one with fragrance, and you can use, like I said, just part of a bag. You don't you have to use the whole bag. You don't have to use three bags for every bath, but you can use part of a bag with one with no fragrance for your moisturizing, part of a bag with one with fragrance for your scent, and then if you wanna add some bubble up to add some bubbles, you will have a wonderful bath time experience. So, first one, like I said, is Let Me See Ultra Soothing Super Moisturizing Bath Soap. And this one does not have any smell from what I can smell, but I think it has lots of vitamin C if I am reading this correctly. And it's probably loaded with shea butter. The next one I have here is Orange You Glad You Said Blackberry. And this is fragranced salts. So this is one that you will add to your bath for fragrance. Mmm, this one smells so good. So I definitely smell the orange and the blackberry and it smells amazing. So this is really cool. The next one I have here is called Man Go Wild. And this <clears throat> this is another ultra soothing, super moisturizing bath soak. So this one doesn't have much of a scent. So if you wanted something with scent, you would add something to that. Or if you just want the moisturization without fragrance, then you just add this by itself. Then we have a bubble up, which I already told you that, you know, this doesn't have any fragrance. This just adds lots and lots of bubbles to your bath. The next one is, ooh, show me your shea butter. Now this one is not fragranced as well, so no fragrance there. It's just all shea butter, so it's extremely, extremely moisturizing. So I would add this to one of the packets with fragrance. For me, that's what I would do. And then we have cold on hold, and I think I am gonna use this tonight because I do have a cold. And so this I think is gonna be really, really nice because it has eucalyptus and peppermint and it's just meant to just bring that eucalyptus and peppermint up to clear your sinuses and make you feel like, kind of reduce your symptoms a little bit. Mmm, and I definitely can smell the eucalyptus and the peppermint in this packet. So that is really cool. I'll probably add some bubble up to that and probably something uh, moisturizing as well. Now we have another box here. Let's see the ones that I got in this box. And like I said, most of these are new fragrances. All right, so let's see what we got. This one here is called Detox Dust. Now this one is a free radical reducing unfragranced kaolin powder. So what this does is it detoxes all of the free radicals that we build up on our skin and in our bodies and it just pulls those toxins out of our skin and just gets rid of them. That's what a detox does. So I would probably add this to something again with some fragrance and maybe some bubbles because I love bubbles. Um, but I can't wait to try this and you're probably not going to really know what it's doing because 
It's not like you can see the toxins leaving your body. That would be really cool. I guess we would sell a whole lot if that would be the case. But um, just know that it has kaolin powder in it, and that is what kaolin powder does for our skin. So, hey, ladies. Hey, Linda, Lisa, Cheryl, Janet, Elaine, Erin. How are you? Glad you can join me. Okay, the next one that we have here is called Love Story. I cannot wait to try this one. This one just sounded really, really good. This is very light though, very, very light scented. Through the packet anyway. I can't really smell too much of this. So, hmm, I'm not really sure um, what this has in it. Uh, let's see, it has rosemary. It has sunflower seed oil and vitamin E. So, try that one out. The next one we have here is another fragrant salt, and this one is called Rico Guave. Now, we have a chunk bar that is called Rico Guave as well. So, how awesome would that be to use the Rico Guave fragrant salt and your Rico Guave chunk bar? and just layer your scents. I love layering scents, and I'm gonna talk about that in just a second because um, I am currently layering my scent with my Feel Better Soon Chunk Bar and a body lotion that I'm gonna talk about in just a second. So, this is the Rico Guave. It's sort of a, um, hmm, it smells really, really good. Um, it is, uh, I believe it's got blackberry in it, if I'm not mistaken. I just, um, I can't see any glasses when I'm looking at this. But I just um, sampled out some chunk bars with this and it smelled so good. So I love this one, Rico Guave. The next one we have here is Yas Queen. <laughs> And this is a fragrance that we also have in a Big Fat Yummy hand cream. So again, you can use this in your bath and then you can get out and you can put your hand cream on and it would just layer that scent to make it really, really good. I love this scent because it is more of a floral with a um, uh, kind of like... Um, I don't know, I'm really bad, y'all, with like trying to explain scents if I'm not looking at it. But it's really, really nice. It is a um, sort of like a, I don't think it's, I don't want to say unisex. It's not really unisex because Yas Queen, mm, I don't think it would be too unisex. But it's not sweet. I know that. It's not sweet, and it's more of like a sandalwood, I guess, scent to it, and it's really, really nice, so I love this one. The next one we have here is called Washed Up. Mm, this one smells nice and clean, kind of like the sea, and I can't wait to try this one. So this is a fragrance. And then we have... An unfragr another unfragranced one, and this is called Call Me Chamomile. And this is comforting and moisturizing, unfragranced, soothing bath salt. So this is really nice to use after um, like a long day and you just want to kind of relax in the bath. You want to moisturize and kind of just chill out a little bit. The chamomile is known to just like Show you out. All right, so that is the bath salt. So I always have the bath salts in my water, always. And I mix them up, and that's what they call all mixed up. So we do that. The next thing that I do in my bath, for those of you that are joining me late, um, I am glad you're joining me, but I am going over my bath time routine. So what I have gone over so far is that I bathe with a chunk bar. The current one I'm using right now is our Lavender Feel Better Soon. Love, love, love it. I use a bath salt in my water, or two, or three. I mix them up. I use that in my water. And then I will use a snarky bar. And everyone 
loves our snarky bars. If you have tried our snarky bars, raise your hands and tell me how much you love them. Um, tell me how much you love the snarky bars. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. Go, go, go. Comment, comment. Uh, because everyone loves our snarky bars. Now, if you're joining us and you don't really know what the snarky bar is, I am going to tell you. Our snarky bars are our exfoliating bars. And yes, yay! Look at all this stuff. Yay, 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 yay. Go, go, go. Isn't it awesome? Um, so, yes, I use a chunk bar and a snarky bar. You use both because you're going to bathe with your chunk bar and then you are going to exfoliate just a few parts of your body with your snarky bar. Snarky bars are filled with shea butter, so they are, oh, I'm loving the hearts. Keep them coming, keep them coming. The hearts and the thumbs up. I love it, I love it, love it, love it. So um, after I bathe with my chunk bar, then I get my snarky bar out. And I use the snarky bar to exfoliate the bottoms of my feet my knees, and my elbows. That's the only places that I use a snarky bar. Oh, and I also use it on my shins. I used to have very, very dry shins, but now my shins are no longer dry because I use the snarky bar and I love it. Everyone loves the snarky bar. So it's filled with shea butter, so it's very, very, very moisturizing, but it is also filled with sugar beads, and those sugar beads do a damn good job scrubbing away all of the dead skin cells that build up on your feet, your knees, and your elbows. If you have the bumps on the back of your arms, you can use it for that. That is called Pilaris keratosis, and it does a fabulous job in removing those bumps. And if you have dry shins, like I used to have, you can use it on your shins, although beware, it is very scrubby. So if you're a very, very sensitive type of person where you don't like a lot of scrubbiness on your skin, then don't use it on your shins because it's scrubby. But for your feet, I think pretty much anybody can handle the snarky bar on their feet because you know it's like a pumice, but it's got shea butter in it, so it's very, very moisturizing. Now, these are three new snarky bars that are in this new spring and summer catalog. And I have not opened these, so I'm gonna open these right now. But I have opened, and actually the one that I am currently using is our Hey Bay Snarky Bar. I love this one. This one has calendula flower in it. You know, like the flower, like not flour you cook with but like the calendula, whatever that is. All I know is that this smells freaking amazing. Like it smells so good, y'all. <sighs> I love it, I love it, love it, love it. I am a flowery girl, I love flowery scents, and I need to look, I need to look up the calendula because obviously I must love calendulas because I love the way this smells. It also has green tea in it and chamomile. And hmm, I can just sit here and sniff this all day. I love it. So that is the Hey Bay. The next one that I have here is called Sweet Breeze Snarky Bar. So let's open that baby up and see what she smells like because I have not smelled her. Our new catalog is amazing. All right, so this one is the Sweet Breeze. Oh, it's lavender, it's very pretty. Oh, this smells really good. Hmm, it does smell like it's a little sweet, but not too sweet, and it smells like like sea breeze, like not sea breeze you put on your face, but like a, like you're sitting on the beach sea breeze. Yes, very, very nice, very nice. Now, when you first open up your snarky bar, it's very, very smooth because of the shea butter, but once you hit it with the water, it gets very, very scrubby, really, really scrubby. So I love that one too. I still think I love Hey Bay better though. Let's be honest, I love this one better. But this one smells really good. 
The next one is called Absolute Passion Fruit. So if I am thinking correctly, this one is probably going to be fruity. If you are a fruity girl, you might like this one. Let's see what we have. Yes, this is definitely fruity. Ooh, this is kind of cool looking too. It looks like it has the measles. <laughs> Look at that. That's pretty cool. Hmm, I pick up like pineapple or something in here. It smells like it sounds passion fruit. It really does. It smells really good. And I'm not a sweets kind of person. I'm not a sweet, fruity kind of fragrance girl. But I would definitely use this. I like this. I like this. Um, so this says that it has, let's see what it has in it. It has kiwi. That's the seeds that look like measles. <laughs> kiwi seeds. Um, so we have kiwi seeds, shea butter, of course, passion flower seed oil, and that is what moisturizes your skin. So this one, this one smells really good. And I do smell the kiwi. I thought it was pineapple, but it's kiwi. So I will use a snarky bar, like I said, on my feet. And then I don't do this every night, but on the days that I shave, so usually, what, that's every two or three days, I guess, I want to shave my legs. Then I will use a body scrub. And I just, um, like, rotate through my body scrubs. I have them all, like, lined up by my tub. And I, I will use a different one every single time. So every two or three days on my shins, where I shave, I will use a body scrub. Now, I have not opened this one yet. Um, the one that I currently have in my bathtub right now is Beach Blanket Body Scrub. If you have not ordered that yet, oh my God. It is amazing. If you love the beach, if you love pina coladas and getting caught in the rain, you have to try Beach Blanket. It is so good. It is so, so good. Um, so that's the one I'm currently mostly using. I have the dark. I have different ones, like I said. But I've been using Beach Blanket the last couple of shaves because I will do my snarky bar and then I will do my put my body scrub on and just like scrub my shins and my legs really good and then I shave. I did a video on that, by the way. Not Well, it's been a while. I'm going to have to do another video on that. But anyway, this is a body scrub um, that is also new to our line, this catalog, and it is called You Had Me at Aloha. Isn't that cute? Cute, cute, cute. All right, this one has honey, sea salt, and sugar with sweet pineapple and hibiscus. Mm. So if you want to think that you are in Hawaii, this would be the one. Mmm, and I definitely smell the hibiscus and the pineapple. It smells amazing. And this is the color of it. All right. So I use a body scrub two, every two to three days when I shave. So that is um, what I use. And then, so that's everything that I use in the bath. And like I said at the beginning, I don't sit in the bathtub for long, but I do use every single one of these products every single bath. And then when I get out of the bath, I always, always, always use a body butter. And that too, I have them lined up because I love all of our body butters and I don't like to use one. I get bored really easily, ladies. I do. Let's be honest. Uh, so I will use a couple of them like for a couple of days and then I'll switch to another one and I'll switch to another one. So I have about six body butters open at a time and I will just rotate through those because I love like doing a different scent every night or every couple of nights for sure. Now, so I use a body butter and I have been using um, 
several different ones. I've been using the Rom-Com, which is, was our Valentine's one. Um, I use Plum Luck a lot, which is still available in our retired section. I love that one. I just ordered another tub of that one because I don't want it to go away ever in life. Um, but one that I have been using a whole lot of because I, I'm using my lavender chunk bar is this Good Hydrations In Shower Lotion. Now this works like a body butter, except it's called In Shower Lotion. Don't ask me how you can use this. Like you can't use this, like, I don't know why they call it in shower lotion. I really don't. I, I dry my body off and then I use this. But they say that you can like get out of the shower or the bathtub and when your skin is still wet, you can lather this on. I'm gonna try that tonight because maybe I'm prejudging like the weirdness of that. <laughs> I'm like, I want to dry my body off before I put my lotion on. But they must, it must be a reason. Well, I know the reason. They're saying that so the nutrients like soak in your skin. Um, but I think that it does that if you dry your body off. So if you use this with your skin still wet, send me a message or post it in our group here. I want to know your thoughts. I'm going to try it tonight. Um, I've just been drying my body off and then using it, and I love it. Oh my God, I love it. So this one smells just like lavender. So like I said at the beginning of the video, I have been really enjoying layering my scent. So when I bathe with the Field Better Soon Lavender Chunk Bar, and then I follow up with this Good Hydrations Body Lotion, Oh my goodness, like I smell amazing. <laughs> I do, I really do smell really good. This is very thick, um, so you can see. Really, really thick. So you definitely can put it on, you know, wet skin. I don't think that, you know, I mean, that's what it's called, that's what it's there for. Or dry skin, which is how I use it. So any way that you feel comfortable with, you can do this. Now, if you are familiar, if you have been around um, for a little while and or were familiar with our PJs all day, this is PJs all day. It just basically is kind of a different formulation and a different name with the good hydrations, but it smells just like PJs all day. So if you are a fan of PJs all day, you will love this. And I do, I love this. It makes your skin feel so very moisturized. You know, it's filled with shea butter, and I'm not sure exactly what other butters it has in here. Um, let's see, we have, um, let's see what we have in here. Uh, oat kernel extract. We have just a bunch of different butters and oils. Um, granulaflorum, seed butter, all kinds of stuff. High, um, high lavandula. Oh, this is the lavender oil. So it has the lavender oil in it, shea butter, glycerin. It has coconut oil, um, just all sorts of great, great oils. Very, very nourishing to the skin. And you will love that because it, it smells amazing. All right, so that is all I have for you. I know that this was a marathon video, as always, I'm sorry, uh, but you know me, I, I like to talk, and I wanted to share with you exactly what I do for every bath time, and this is what I do. So it definitely takes me a whole lot longer to talk about it than it does to actually use it. So remember that we do have our February Mystery Hostess event still going on. Make sure if you're going to place an order that you place an order in that event so that way you can have a chance to win all of the perks from that event. My website is www.poshbyrocks.com. If I can help you in any way, answer any questions, let me know. Thanks for joining me. I am going to go take my bath now. And night, ladies. I will catch you on the next video.